Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Q&A and I'm so excited about it because it's my first one ever. So yeah, let's just get right into the questions. I have them all on my iPhone. The first one is from Just For Giveaways. They asked, how often do you go shopping for planner supplies? Let's just say that it's an addiction, it's a problem, but I have actually honed it down to probably like every three weeks or more I go and get new stuff because I try to buy a lot of things at one time so that I don't like keep going back out like every day and buying new stuff. Like, it's a problem. It's a problem. If you are a planner addict, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, moving on to the next question. Jojo Chung asks, would you rather give up YouTube or all your other social networks? <sighs> what kind of person are you? That is like the cruelest question I've ever... Lance, get out of the paper bag! He is... Oh my gosh! Do you see this? What have you gotten yourself into? You bad little kitty! <laughs> I am babysitting... Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am babysitting my sister's cat right now, and he is getting into all kinds of trouble. Oh my god. Oh, I give up. Anyway, back to the question. Um, how are you supposed to choose? Like, YouTube is a social network. Like, I, is it okay to say that I don't know the answer? Like, I mean, how do you answer something like that? It's like stressing me out. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, the next question is from Laura Ann Sidon. She says, I got this question from Sheldon on Big Bang tonight. <laughs> okay, already this is awesome. If you could wake up tomorrow with a power or ability, what would you want it to be? Oh my gosh, if I had any power, I would want to be able to stop time. I think that would just be the coolest thing. Um, I would just want to be able to stop time in like special moments or if I need to get something done and I don't have enough time, I could stop time, get that thing done and have like, I could have unlimited hours to be productive every single day. That would just be like the coolest thing ever. Katarina Martins asks, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is currently, oh, let me see if I can find it for you guys. Okay, I found it. It is Evelina by Fanny Burney, and this is like a classic. I've probably read this book like 20 times. Bailey McGrath asked, how did you get started with your YouTube channel and were you nervous to start your own? I was definitely excited to start mine. I don't remember ever being nervous except for when I first got in front of the camera and was trying to press record and I was like clearing my throat a million times and I could not I could not just talk to the camera. I was definitely uncomfortable in front of the camera. I was shy. My voice was all quiet. I was excited to start my channel. It was just like filming the videos that I was just not comfortable with in the beginning and how I got started with YouTube was, of course, watching YouTube videos. I found the whole beauty community and just fell in love with it. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was watching beauty videos for about a year and a half. I was like, you know, it would be so fun if I did this. Like, I can do this. And I'm so glad I did because it's now, like, my favorite hobby. I love it. I love doing it. So, yeah, that's how I got started with YouTube. 123 Jenny Lee asks, where is your favorite place to buy planner supplies? It would have to be tied between Etsy and probably Joanne Fabrics. I think those two are my most recent favorite places to purchase cute stuff. Joanne Fabrics has this awesome dollar section where you can go and get all these cute things. Jasmine Mills asks, what's your favorite color? Pink? White? Red? Black? I have a lot of favorite colors and they kind of like change um, randomly. I could have a favorite color and the next day it's a different color. So Beauty by Nikki X asks a question and I love this question by the way. It is awesome because it really got me thinking. Um, she asked, if you could travel anywhere in the world for a one month holiday, where would you go? What would you do there and why? This is like the coolest, uh, if I had a month holiday, that would be 
awesome and I narrowed it down to two places. I would either want to go to Greece or go to Vegas. I think Vegas would just be so much fun because it's so flamboyant. Um, I've been there once with my hubby on our honeymoon. For Greece, I would definitely want to go there because I it's just on my bucket list in life. I want to go there eventually and it's just so gorgeous and everything is just beautiful and the water and just experiencing that culture and everything, a different place from the US because I've never been outside the US. So yeah, as far as what we would do, uh, we would probably just do a bunch of touristy things, go and see everything, relax, have fun, try all these new restaurants and stuff. Now that question really makes me want to go on vacation. Sarah Gibbs asks, what's your favorite holiday and why? Okay, obviously Christmas. Christmas is the best, it's just the most fun. In December you get to like count down to it and I love doing Vlogmas. I actually did it last year for the first time and had so much fun. And yeah, it's just like, it's just such a happy, cheerful time. And it's, it's almost like Christmas is an entire month. It's an entire season. So I just, I love that. Allison Britton asked, what is your favorite store to shop at? And recently I have been really loving Charlotte Russe for fashion. I just love all the stuff in there. It's been so good lately. I don't know, but yeah. What's your favorite type of cake? By the way, love you. Love you too. This question is from Amelia Silcock and <sighs> is it okay for me to say this? Like I know a lot of people are going to get offended at what I'm about to say, but just just prepare yourself, okay? I hate cake. I hate it. It's gross. I don't want it ever. I never have it on my birthday. Whenever, when someone else has a birthday, I never have it. I just, I, I never order it when we go places. I never crave cake. I never, it's just, to me, it's just, oh, it's too much sweetness in one spot and it's gross. And if there's frosting, like, forget it. That's just disgusting. And I know that it's like, I'm breaking so many girl rules here by hating cake, but I hate it. I hate it. I cannot stand cake. So no one ever get me a cake, ever, because <laughs> I would much rather have like ice cream or fruit. Brenda asked, I can't really say her last name, but the question is right here <laughs> for you guys. But Brenda asks, what is your favorite makeup brand? And this is a really hard one because I feel like I don't stick to a certain one brand, but um, I definitely would say that Maybelline has always been one of my favorites. It's one of the first brands that I discovered and with makeup and everything and I've just, I've always loved it. I've always loved their products. I've always loved their foundations, especially their lippies. So yeah. Rondo's Reviews asked, what is your favorite song? And okay, Mike, current favorite song is Lips Are Movin' by Megan Trainer. Love that song. I'm like, Megan Trainer, girl, she has got it down. Like, I love that song. <laughs> Madison Westerfield asked, mascara or lipstick? Lipstick all the way. <laughs> most days I'm wearing lipstick and most days I just completely skip mascara. I don't know. I just don't feel the need to wear mascara a lot. Uh, so definitely, definitely lipstick. Simply Maria asked, what do you order at Starbucks? You get the award for like one of my favorite questions in this Q&A. I was like hoping someone would ask me about Starbucks. I'm so obsessed, it's a problem. My favorite things to order there are the pumpkin spice frap when it's in season, which it's not anymore. And also a Java chip frap with soy milk. Ugh, so, so good. But my current favorite thing to order right now, venti passion iced tea sweetened with two or three pumps of raspberry. Oh my gosh, you guys, you've got to go and try it. It's so, so good and so delicious. It's, if you've seen my Twitter or Instagram, I'm always taking pictures of it. I'm constantly getting that drink. It's addicting, it's so good. And now, now I really want one. Girly Princess asked, 
My question is, where do you get planner inspiration? And I definitely get it from Instagram. I love posting my planner pictures on Instagram and with all the like tags and stuff, you can click on them and see everyone else's posts. And I follow a bunch of Etsy shops and I'm always seeing their updated like stickers that they have in their shop and everything. Like my, my Instagram feed is probably 95% planner supplies and planner shops on Etsy like it's it's pretty bad so yeah you have to like scroll until you actually see a face it's just like planner things and planner pictures everywhere but yeah I mean I'm addicted so yeah definitely from Instagram love all the ideas on there all the stickers washi tape and all that stuff I just like I get sucked into the hole and just keep like keep following planner people on there it's like Okay, so that's all the questions that I have for this Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want me to do another Q&A, or if you have a question for me that wasn't answered, or that you want me to answer, leave it in the comments below, and then maybe I will do another one, but I had so much fun filming this. I love Q&As. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!